Did you know Fire, Ice, and Heal Spirit can all survive a fireball? Or that Miner can kill a full health P.E.K.K.A.? Here are 25 of the craziest level 16 versus level 1 interactions. And at number 25, one elixir beating nine elixir? Yeah, you heard that right. While usually, three musketeers completely crush any type of spirit, a level 16 fire spirit versus a level 1 musketeers is a different story, because it literally one-shots every single one of them. And my life is a lie. Number 24, normally, a rocket takes less than half a royal giant's health, but when maxed, it one-shots it. This maxed rocket deals 2,373 damage and 714 crown tower damage. It can also be used to one-shot tanks such as Giant and Giant Skeleton. However, it's still not enough to kill a Golem or a Lava Hound. Number 23. If you're using the Hog Rider, it's good to know that a level 16 Hog can one-shot a Tesla. The same applies to the Cannon, Goblin Hut, and Battle Ram. Good day for Hog Cycle. Number 22. Max Wall Breakers can kill Elite Barbarians. And it gets even crazier. Because of the Wall Breakers' damage effect, they not only just kill E-Barbs, but Baby Dragon and Royal Giant. Fireball also can't kill them. Now that should not be allowed. Number 21. Normally, if you fireball a balloon, it stays alive with around 991 health. However, if a max level fireball hits a balloon, it instantly dies. Can you rewind that? Sorry, it's just so satisfying to watch. Number 20. While Miner is commonly made fun of as a trash card, a max Miner can kill P.E.K.K.A, Prince, and pretty much every card in the game. I mean, it won't heal your towers, but hey, not a bad trade-off. All right, quick challenge. The Miner wins this 1v6, you have to subscribe. Well, that was awkward, but subscribe anyway. Number 19. While Skeletons versus Valkyrie are usually a laughable matchup, level 16 Skeletons kill a Valkyrie all by themselves. Now, if you compare this to a level 16 Valkyrie facing level 1 Skeletons, this kind of difference is insane. Still, level 16 Skeletons seem to be the more impressive version, being able to destroy expensive tanks for just one elixir. Number 18. Level 16 E-Giant just is unfair. If you place one, your opponent might as well surrender on the spot. Literally just one one maxed E-Giant will shred through all low-level defenses and end up three-crowning your opponent, and that's not even to mention the troops it kills. Number 17, which is a card that almost nobody thinks is good, with labels such as complete trash and nobody uses witch being thrown around. So let me tell you, level 16 witch may as well be the exact opposite. It crushes low-level towers while taking next to no damage. I mean, at this point, it might as well make her worth 10 elixir. Number 16, level three rocket is really bad. Not able to kill a level 16 magic archer or even a wizard. It only deals around 700 damage, which is super low, so it makes sense why it can't kill most max level troops. Number 15, but a level 3 fireball is even weaker than a level 3 rocket, with somehow Princess being able to survive it. What? A level 3 fireball is basically useless against any level 16 troops. Honestly, I'm surprised it can even kill skeletons. So if you have a level 3 fireball, you might just want to remove that one from your deck. Number 14, max arrows can kill elite barbarians. Max arrows can also kill all the swarms in the game combined. Dealing 512 damage, it'll also kill troops like Wizard and Musketeer, and even pretty much Witch. Number 13. A maxed Prince's Charge can actually one-shot a Royal Giant. Now, compare this to the interaction you normally see, and the difference is really satisfying. Number 12. First off, a single maxed minion can somehow kill a Mega Minion. And if that isn't crazy enough, even a Fireball can't kill them. Number 11. A maxed Royal Giant can one-shot a Mortar. Can also obliterate basically any building. Expo players aren't going to be too happy about this one. Royal Giant Maxed also has so much HP, so much that these skeletons look like they're dealing almost no damage to it, and it still destroys the opponent. Number 10. Level 16 archers are pretty powerful. They can also kill three musketeers, survive a Dark Prince sprint, and obliterate anything. Number 9. Did you know that a Max Barbarian Barrel kills a Battle Ram by itself? A Max Barbarian Barrel obviously can one-shot all swarm troops, including Barbarians. While a Max Barbarian Barrel can't kill a P.E.K.K.A., it's surprisingly good at lowering HP against low-level opponents, being able to full counter a Prince Valkyrie combination with the help of the tower. Number 8. A level 16 Goblin Gang is no joke. In fact, it takes three shots from the Wizard to kill just the front Goblins. This maxed Goblin Gang can easily kill a Valkyrie and will destroy the strongest troops really quickly. A fireball will still kill it though, so it isn't all that powerful. Number 7. As Skeleton Dragons are regarded as some of the weakest cards in the game, to the point where one can barely even connect to the tower, Max Skeleton Dragons are quite powerful. One Max Skeleton Dragon can kill a minimum level Baby Dragon on its own, and can deal some decent damage to the tower while it's at it. Number 6. Maxed Inferno Tower is so unfair while being overleveled that if I line up an Electro Giant, P.E.K.K.A., and Giant, they won't even hurt the Inferno Tower. Here's a quick reel. Number
Number five, a Max Golden Knight's Dash, One Shots, Musketeer, and Wizard. I thought I'd make a reel for this one too. Number four, similar to the Golden Knight, Bandit has a dashing mechanism that allows it to one-shot pretty much any minimum level troops. Meaning, if you're ever faced with something like this, just place a Bandit, and it'll dash on every single one of them without taking any damage. Comparing this to the Golden Knight, I honestly can't tell which one looks cooler. It is worth noting, however, that while the Bandit's dash deals 536 damage maxed, the Golden Knight only deals 440 damage, making the Bandit's dash significantly more powerful overall. Number three, this is kind of funny, but the max level Elixir Collector is probably the weirdest interaction so far, with a hog rider needing It took nine hits? The Elixir Collector Maxed is so hard to kill that it can be used as a defensive building against every single low-level card and still survive. Now, with it having around 1600 HP, this makes sense, but still, I find this one pretty hard to believe. Number two, a level 16 tornado just dissolves troops into midair. This has to be one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen, especially when it's pulled back at the same time. A level 16 tornado can also do a good amount of damage to buildings. Number one, a maxed mini P.E.K.K.A. will one-shot pretty much everything. So here, I've put a maxed mini P.E.K.K.A. against a level nine lumberjack. And if the lumberjack wins, you have to subscribe right away. All right.